you know, exactly. throughout every single season. It's seasonless. It's $39.90. We have 400 left. And look what's coming up in this hour. Okay, this is such an awesome dress. We have some insane buys in this hour. It is in black, blue, green, pink, or yellow. Four flex pay on everything, which means five on your HSN card. And then, check this out. We have it today for the first time ever, marked $69 retail value, $34.95. And I'm going to tell you why we have a lot of those specials in the hour, but... To Well, I can't think of a better way to kick off the weekend than with yes. food. Oh my goodness. TGIF, Michelle. Same to you, and it smells amazing in here already, so I can't wait to get into this. I hope you brought your appetite. I did. I purposely <laughs> skipped breakfast or dinner. These crazy hours, it depends. <laughs> Different for everybody. Yeah, I don't, we don't know what meal it is, but we are definitely hungry. <laughs> we'll eat it. My name is Sarah Anderson. Michelle Yarn joins hey me. There. So thrilled to have Michelle. She is one yeah. of our newest host additions to the HSN family. So uh, following in my footsteps, hey, I'm only six months ahead of you, girl. So, uh, well, uh, you know. It's, it's entirely possible neither <laughs> of us know what we're doing but here's what we're going to tell you about it's yes an hour of kitchen an hour of food and here's what michelle has so coming up. check this out now this was a huge still is a huge customer pick hsn exclusive set of cuisinart knives it's a 10-piece set half off today for the birthday bonanza that we've been having around here for the entire month. So that's coming up a little bit later. They're all color coded, which is beautiful, but it also helps you with cross contamination and knowing what knives you need to use. So they're ceramic coated stainless steel and the demos are out of this world. And my husband top, top, top. loves those knives. I already own them, a huge fan. Yeah. Uh, also coming up, we're gonna make pies tonight and not just any pies. We're gonna make savory pies, meat pies, fruit pies, berry pies, <laughs> rhubarb pies, pecan pies, who can say no to pie, right? And you're getting a pie maker. Look at these crazy birthday prices, just $19.95. That's also a customer favorite. And that's like the perfect personal pan size. Yes. Uh, just for all of us that are, you know, trying to work on portion Treat control. Treat yourself. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're going to go ahead and kick off the show with a dash three blade spiral slicer. I didn't even know what spiralizing was before I got to HSN, but Michelle and Kelly are going to tell you all about it. The cool thing is you get this birthday price of $17.95, which is a small price to pay to do some really fancy food. Yeah, completely transforming the way you think about food because we know we need more fruits and veggies in our lives, but do you really <laughs> want to gnaw a carrot or have another salad? So something about just changing the way it looks makes it taste that much better, makes it that much easier to enjoy, and this is so simple to use as well. So check it out, as Sarah said, $17.95. This is on clearance. A blowout here for mm -hmm. flex pay of four dollars and forty nine cents. Oh, no. That's crazy. I'm gonna let you guys get to work. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna zoodle our noodles or something <laughs> crazy and fun. It's not too much to do. It's Thanks, easy. Michelle. Yeah, yeah, Michelle's gonna bit. come back in a few minutes with a waffle maker. Uh, you're gonna love that as well. I'm gonna say hi to Kelly Deer. Hi. Is here. Good morning. Our resident kitchen expert. Yes. Uh, she's already cooking up a storm. And spiralizing is like the latest trend. It it's is. like the biggest deal. No and carbs. No carbs. So here's free pasta. pasta. Yes, with no carbs. So these are what we call zoodles because this is zucchini. This could be cucumber or beets or, you know, it could be squash. This could be, you know, whatever vegetable of your choosing. By the way, pasta, think about it. Plain pasta has virtually no flavor right? All the flavor mm. comes from the sauce that you put on it. So pasta, if you're trying to do low carb, you're trying to get those out of your diet. Now you can actually take zucchini and eat zucchini as if it's a noodle. All that matters is the sauce. This is filled with fiber. It's filled with vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that maybe you're not getting. Maybe you're not getting all five servings of your fruits and vegetables a day. Now you can do it by spiral slicing it. So if you don't own one, this is by far the best price of our spiral slicer Lowest that we've ever Ever done. Price ever. I just want to give you a quick update. This is the lowest price ever. Birthday clearance price, $17.95. Uh, we have four flex pay, which is just also kind of cuckoo. Uh, and that means you can get it home for less than $5 today. Also, uh, this is our final quantity. So once these are gone, these are gone. I don't know that we're ever ever, ever, ever get these back into stock. So uh, just a few hundred now to go around. We have two colors. We have the green uh, that Kelly's working with. It has a bright sort of lime green lid. We also have this exclusive, which is the HSN 
Pasqua. I know, I love these. By the way, Dash's motto is unprocess your food. You can see I cut my zucchini or my cucumber into about thirds, no big deal, slice it open. And then all you do is choose which blade. You're getting all three blades. Once you load it in, have you ever twisted one of those jack in the boxes? That's all you have to do. If you can just mm. give a little twist to a jack in the box, you're good to go. Because once you load that in, it does all the work for you. And it's now creating what we call our zoodles. Virtually no carbs. If there's any carbs, they're all natural carbs. Incredibly healthy. Throw your white sauce, your red sauce, your Parmesan, your pesto right over your Ooh. zucchini noodles. And I guarantee you, your family will not know, know the difference. You don't even know that you're you, eating your vegetables. You're eating your vegetables. My <laughs> husband and I, when we do our zoodles, we do it with squash and zucchini. We each end up eating two full zucchinis and about a half a squash each. Now, we would never sit there and gnaw on a zucchini <laughs> or a squash. We just wouldn't, that's just not our lifestyle. Right. But when you do it as your noodles, by the way, the grocery store chains have are mm -hmm. totally onto this. They're zoodling for you. This was about eight bucks for this organic sweet, you buy an organic sweet potato for under a dollar and zoodle it yourself. It's an 800% markup for them to do it for you. And for it's under $20, you can do it yourself. It's certainly gonna be a lot fresher. Yes. And a lot healthier oh, to do it at home. You have, no long, you have no idea how long these zoodles have been mm -hmm. sitting there. Go ahead and do your own zoodles. By the way, vegetables are so filled with fiber. If you're not getting enough vegetables, guess what you're doing? You're snacking more because fiber fills mm. us up. So not only are you not getting the vitamins and nutrition from your vegetables, you're eating more snacks because you're not full like you should be. They are packed with you know beautiful vitamins and nutrients, but also packed with fiber. So here's a cool example. This one I love to do because it's summertime. Do you usually do like a summertime pasta salad that you bring to the barbecue? Yeah. Maybe that's your thing. And you do it with cold pasta, right? Guess what? You can now do it with cold yellow squash. Go ahead and take your squash. You can see we just slice it in half or in thirds. You just load whichever blade on the inside. You're getting all the blades and then you just twist like a jack in the box and now you're doing your zoodles. So there's your... Uh, so you're not holding knives. No, you're I don't trying have to, to do chop something it. fancy. You don't have to go to culinary school, right? Look Hopefully. at your zoodles. No, I did not. <laughs> That's the thing. I never went to culinary school. There's a lot of chefs here that sell these wonderful items, but they spent years and years learning how to use them. Yeah. At Dash, these are easy to it's use. Goof -proof, right? It's goof proof. Okay, so there are my pasta noodles. I use pasta, okay. you know, very loosely. And then whatever fixings that you like to add to your traditional pasta salad, I want you to add. So there we have a little bit of mozzarella. We're adding Ooh, some of tomatoes. our plum tomatoes. You can add uh, your sausage or your salami. And then I'm going to add my artichoke. And then I'm just going to add a beautiful light Greek vinaigrette for a gorgeous, quote unquote, pasta salad without the carbs of the pasta. So now you're taking your meal from mm -hmm. maybe, I'm just guessing, so don't quote me, but probably over 100 carbs per serving to probably less than 20 per and serving. Think about that. So I if, mean, if, that's you, a if you're trying difference. to eat healthier, if you're trying to get your kids to eat healthier, if you're trying to get your kids to eat your vegetables, uh, my husband is always trying to get his wife to eat her vegetables. And <laughs> I'm like, you have to do some fancy cuts or you have yep. to put it in a swirly it shape. It tastes better when you do it that. It does. And you know what? Kids love eating food in fancy shapes. Also, it's not just for your vegetables, but you could do some Fruit. great fries. Oh, I mean, yeah. who wouldn't like you know, take a detour to curly go through fries. that drive through that has the curly Season fries. Season your own curly fries. What if you could make them yourself? What if you could do it with your own potatoes, your own sweet potatoes? Think about making that fabulous, you know, carrot and raisin salad because you're doing the spiralizing yourself. This is the lowest Beautiful price we've ever offered. I mean, I mean, for the price that you would spend on two packets of you know, pre-sliced veggies at the deli, you know, less than $18, you can get this home today. It's still on those four flexible payments too. Uh, so you could put a, look at that, you just spiralize So that's a half potatoes. a potato, so if you wanna season it Yum. and air fry it, now you have your own traditional curly fries. But look at this, now what we've done is we've taken our potatoes and we've now turned them into a beautiful hash, a beautiful mm -hmm. potato hash with our eggs. So season it however you want, Come lightly in, air fry it, throw it in your air fryer, whatever you wanna do. Michelle's got two little boys. Yes. I do. So um, how do you get them to eat their vegetables, well, they, Michelle? I will tell you a story. <laughs> I actually did zoodle and I, you know, put the sauce on it that they love, that creamy Alfredo, and they ate it. Yes. They ate it because so the consistency this is, a is there. This is a testimony. Yeah, and you're right. It's just a vessel for whatever sauces you love. So why not, yeah, why not switch it up a little bit and still get that great flavor. 
So you oh see gosh. that we did our beautiful curly fries. Um, I love the, the, the ability to either deep fry it to where mm -hmm. you want to get it crispy or if you want to air fry it so that you're not soaking it in oil. You have mm -hmm. that option too. Let's, let's scooch over here because any of you that like to do apple pies or any kind of baking whatsoever, if you like to do your own jellies, your own jams, you can see all we did was pop our apple on the inside there. And look at the thin apple chips that are coming out. If you're somebody that loves to dehydrate, this is a way to guarantee that all of your apples are sort of in the same uh, thickness. So look at that. All I have to do is sort of twist that little lever. If you can twist a lever, it's one of the easiest spiral slicers I've used. And I love that it actually has this little vessel. Now, many spiral slicers in the marketplace, it just sort of spits them out the end, right? And you're like, where am I supposed to put all these zoodles? You have to put a little bowl mm -hmm. underneath it. I've used a lot of them. This by far is one of the easiest to use because it captures everything in this vessel. This was about three quarters of an apple. Now my three-year-old, um, you know, he will not eat an apple in chunks. I can slice it anyway, <laughs> dice it, whatever. <laughs> Only if I do, and I call them chips. I tell him, oh, eat your chips, okay? Ah. He will eat his apple chips, but he will not eat his apple. So it's interesting if you're feeding mm -hmm. young children or There's something about those little bite-sized pieces. It's better. Yeah, you're not, you know, it's chomping crispier. forever. Are you gonna grab a zucchini and eat it from top to bottom or a yellow squash? Probably not. Probably not. Uh, but look at the amazing desserts, the breakfast, the yep. pastas, the salads you can make. It's the lowest price we've ever you offered. Even do I wanna, apple chips. We have fewer than 500. This is the final quantity. If you want the birthday price, if you love those four flex payments, you gotta, you've got to make sure that you're jumping in right now. And the two colors are either that lime green, uh, which is really bright and fun, or it also comes in this exclusive aqua blue. It's also coming with a few little recipes to get you started. You're getting the three different blades, and the three different blades are going to give you, what, different shapes? Different shapes. You have a thin noodle, a thick noodle, and then that slicing blade. The slicing blade is what I used on the apple, where you get sort of that ribbon curl. You can use any vegetable with any blade. It's totally up to you how you're presenting your food, how you're doing your meal, whether you're dehydrating, whether you're using it as zoodle, um, whether you're making a pasta salad. There are so yeah. many online recipes about spiral slicing, yes. spiralizing, whatever word and you want to use, have, zoodles, noodles. Uh, two other cookbooks on our website at hsn.com. If you're like, I'm, I'm into it. I'm, yep. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoodle my noodles. Yep. And this might be an inspiration to cook more at home. It might be an inspiration how pretty that is to too. switch out your pastas. If you're going gluten-free, if you're going wheat-free, yep. if, if someone has an allergy in your family, you know, this is, this is is a great way to cook for them and find a new and creative way to still get all those nutrients and to still get you're not cutting back on flavor yeah you're not cutting back right? on flavor you're just adding the fiber the vitamins mm -hmm. the minerals that are in our vegetables you know how healthy <laughs> vegetables is I'm not gonna uh, vegetables are I'm not gonna stand here and tell you how healthy they are you know it's just that they don't yeah. taste very good when you do them in the big chunks now this is gonna be a beautiful Greek salad first of all how much better is this presentation than say Amazing. that type of presentation. Which would you rather look at? We eat with our eyes first. So there's the beautiful ribbon curl in a cucumber. And then if you wanna add whatever, again, just like your traditional pasta salad where we supplemented with noodles, now I'm gonna do a Greek salad. So I have my cucumber, I've got some olives, I've got my tomato, and then I use that thin blade to do some onion. Wow. Look at, you could do fried onion, little crispy onions as well. Pop it all on the inside, and then what a beautiful difference and more attractive, not only to mm -hmm. your appetite, but to your eyes. It's perfect for summer. You know, even yeah. if you love pasta, you know, it's kind of heavy, it's kind of filling, you kind of want to take a nap afterward. Yeah. <laughs> you do, it's a carb crash. Right. When you eat more vegetables, right. you don't get that carb crash. I love pasta, I'm not saying eliminate pasta, maybe do it yeah. once a week instead of three times a week or once a month <laughs> instead, of, you know what I mean? That's up to you. Um, things like your sweet potatoes, you know, you can do like a pad thai sweet potato, which is what we're doing here. Ooh, fantastic. In the that great. Uh, Look at we those only have about 400 left. Once these are gone, uh, we're probably not going to get these back in time for another birthday price. We're, we have those two colors. Now we've got a couple of their items from Dash. I love a little peanut sauce. Yeah, a little pad thai zoodle. A little zoodles. sweet potato, a little chicken breast. Isn't that pretty? Oh, yeah. So that's a pad thai. Pad thai is filled with sugar. It doesn't mm -hmm. have to be. Mm -hmm. You don't have to use the carbs either. Fantastic. So awesome. Spiralize your food. It's fun to eat. It's easy to make. And it's so affordable. Thank you so much, Kelly. All right, my friend. I'll Fantastic. save you some zoodles. Okay. Please do. Now, we have two other great items from Dash, and let me tell you, these are amazingly 
uh, priced. Uh, I just uh, want to blow your mind for a minute. This is the complete salad and egg serving set. Now, let me just explain what this is. Uh, you get the egg serving set and the accessories. So if you love deviled eggs, you love to serve them, you love to store them, you love to share them, that's the best way to travel with your deviled eggs. That's only $9.95. That's the lowest price ever. That's our final quantity. We also have a complete salad to go set that's also less than $10. Uh, so those are also at the lowest prices we've ever offered. Uh, our birthday party is in full swing. And uh, let me tell you, this is the truth. Michelle and I were actually arm wrestling over who got to present the waffle maker <laughs> in this hour. Because let me tell you, when I saw the incredible waffles that you could make, I was hooked. And it's not just for breakfast anymore, right, Michelle? It is not. So yes, we're going from zoodling to waffling. And you know, being the new host around here, I've had a lot of questions. The only question on my mind this morning, will it waffle? And yes, it will. Because yes, we love those Belgian style waffles. They're crispy on the outside, a little doughy on the inside. And that's fabulous. And you need a great waffle maker for that. But we're all about getting creative in the kitchen today. And with Holstein, that's what they're all about as well. So today, we're showing Showing you different ways that you can use this whole scene housewares waffle maker this thing is amazing it's a non-stick you've got a dial here to adjust how crispy or soft you want your things to be this is a brownie a brownie and a waffle maker whoever heard of that and it also comes with a manual with a couple of ideas to get you started and we've got a great cookbook as well so this is a fabulous deal because we've been doing these birthday prices all month as Sarah mentioned as well so we've got a great deal on this one $17.95 to get this home we can see it I wish you could smell it I can smell it let's see how it works we've got Carrie Maletto here every time you're here <laughs> every time I watch you've got something delicious going on I try I try to make it interesting let's get and creative so, with this of course let's start with waffles right because Holstein is about making it fun in the kitchen so if oh. you could have a genuine delicious waffle made easily every morning that pops right out just like that and you could stack them oh. up quarter them up however you want to do it but it makes breakfast go to a whole new level when you can make your waffles absolutely perfect in minutes. Now the Holstein waffle maker heats up in two minutes. So That's think about nice. how fast you can get going and get started and also every time you make another waffle it is absolutely ready to go for the next round. So please notice because of the non-stick coating that this has, it makes it super simple just to keep loading and keep going. So whether you're a party of one or a party of six, your waffles will pop out super fast and super easy. Now, as you saw, I just filled this up. I'm using our, our batter bottle, which we have, but you can fill these up even with a spoon or any other way, but you wanna do kind of where you almost see all the edges done. And then you just do the hard part, which I always talk about, which is just closing it. Right. That's it. That's <laughs> That's all you have to do. So you don't have to be a baking scientist or anything like that. Holstein's made it super easy. These waffles come out in about three to five minutes. So I mean, we're come that's back amazing. And, and, and check out that guy in just a moment. Okay. Now so, you're going to work on something else over here. And I have to mention very quickly that we have limited quantities on these. There's about, what, 300 of them to go around. So wow. this is a great time to jump in and snag this as you're seeing all these recipe ideas. And look at how clean it is when you take it off. Absolutely. I mean, that nonstick right is huge. There are a lot of waffles makers out there that don't offer that <laughs> or they're way too big or cumbersome they're heavy there's nowhere to store them this that's is right. like Oops. the wham bam thank you ma'am of waffle makers this out. absolutely and that's what you see right here i just have a little bit of residue so i'm just popping it out over on the side so i can keep going with my yeah. next round but um what i love about this is you can take it from breakfast right to dessert so if we wanted to put brownies in there, we could do that. I think we got a little and taste tester coming in. I think that's when all in. of a sudden, everyone comes from around all I'm the just, hiding corners. I'm, I'm quality control. <laughs> yeah. We've got strategic forks no on the one, table too. No one just tastes to this sure. before this is, I make sure this is this has been approved. She's gonna make sure no one gets harmed in the process. <laughs> I never and, would have uh, thought to use a waffle maker in this way. Absolutely. Talk about getting more use out of it, you know, and being for creative. birthday month, you know, you can really doll it up. Oh, sprinkles so there you go. Anybody. If you'd like to try that, girls, please do oh, go okay, for it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually move on to my next Insane. breakfast staple with this, which is my French toast. So take any, this is the hollow bread mm. that you could purchase in the store. Use your same process that you would do for your French toast. That's like ridiculous. Mm. Isn't, that, isn't that great? I know the brownie. That brownie wow. mix, by the way, is just straight from the box. So you can use straight box mix. So I'm going to go ahead and put my challah in the egg. Then I'm going to place it right into the Holstein maker. Now, please yeah. notice when I close this, because it's a higher bread, I just want to push it down a little bit. 
The actual heat is going to do the rest of the work for me because it's going to start to come down as it presses. So it's kind of almost going to work like a panini press mm -hmm. idea. Well, and, and I like that it's cooking from both sides too. Yes. So I'm not having to watch and wait and wonder if I should flip it over yet. Well, I, I do, mean, it's all do. done for you. Exactly. Yeah. So now I'm going to come back over here really quick and let's do a little checkup on how our waffle's coming. Now I'm, I'm going to let this go. Sure this side tastes good. For, <laughs> go I'm going to let this go for probably, I don't know, another 30 seconds to a minute, but I wanted you to see how mm. fast we are making waffles with this maker. All right, I'm gonna come back over here and we are gonna work on our hash browns right now. Oh my goodness. So what is really incredible about a restaurant breakfast, when you get those hash browns that are perfectly flattened, perfectly delicious, perfectly crispy. Yes, and I can never get that right at home. When you Absolutely. put it in a pan, it's messy. I'm trying to weigh it down with a lid. It just does not work. So now you oh. can take your cut up potatoes, so however you wanna, maybe you wanna use your spiralizer if you want, <laughs> but you wanna get them nice and cut up and then you go ahead and place them right into your waffle maker. Another staple that we really love is waffle fries. So here I actually have some waffle fries that we that. already made. But Can if I you buy them, them, yeah, please. But if you buy them in the frozen food department, you know, you may have a lot of preservatives in those. You don't know what you're getting. Here you can control your ingredients. So what we've done is you just take a mashed potato mix make them a little drier than what the instructions say. Mm -hmm. So normally when we do our mashed potatoes, we make them a little wetter. So here, keep them dry, press them right into the maker. This is so good. And press down. Is it, I know, it's totally it's delicious. It's crispy outside, but it has that nice kind of fluffy, it breaks up in your mouth, that and taste that's exactly that you get from you a homemade. And you taste the difference. Like yeah. It doesn't taste like it's manufactured. It doesn't taste like it's baked. So no. giving you ideas all the way from breakfast all the way to your sides that are going to accompany your meals. Let's come back to this waffle that we had just a moment ago. This Looks one's great. now done. So what I do love about this is you can make it go a little longer or a little less depending upon what your perfect waffle is like. But I'm going to take this one out. I'm going to actually break it down the middle. Oh. It is super hot, by the way. You would let yours cool. <laughs> Yeah, I don't always have you've that got some experience here. with this stuff, so you're like, I got this. I'm like, it's fine. Yeah. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to make churros. And you go, what? Now, normally, we have to buy churros or get churros in those fast food restaurants. Or they're frozen. Like and or they're yeah. frozen. All you have to do is use a little cinnamon sugar and butter. You just rub it right onto the waffle, and then you just top it with, if you like, some nice chocolate. I mean, I may do the entire waffle, but you know, yeah. it's up to you. So I just do the edges just to make it nice and pretty. So you can just do this. That is awesome. Give it right in and then do that. I want to get this guy just a little bit more. And then I like to finish mine off with a little chocolate sauce. So I'm going to grab this here. Beautiful. And you know, again, this is something now that's maybe more desserty. I don't know. I can like I can pretty much do a churro any time of the day. <laughs> so it's entirely <laughs> up to you when you want it. It'd be but an appetizer. Again, giving you different ideas and different ways to use your waffle maker besides just waffles. So now I'm gonna go back again and show you how easy it is to fill it up. And I love these batter bottles too. I mean, that just makes it so simple. I've tried the whole, you know, dumping it out of a pitcher and it's it's going everywhere and you've got the spoons that are a mess, so that just looks like such an easy way it to make, make your waffles fast. and get it done. And you can see we've got that up on the screen for you too if you want to pick those up as well. Look at this French okay, toast. Okay, so French toast, I, you saw we just started this just a moment ago. Imagine your breakfast and imagine your morning when you're gonna get that perfectly crispy on both sides French toast breakfast made with your waffle maker in just minutes. That's what makes this so phenomenal. Do a little powdered sugar on top just yeah. to get it perfect. And then if you want to put some syrup or anything extra or I would do some mascarpone or something like that. Um, then here's where we get real crazy. Let's get to the savory because you you know we've been talking earlier about how waffling is this big trend right now because yeah. we're being creative, we're having fun, using tools in different ways. A pizza on a waffle maker. Take your pizza crust. <laughs> I'm sorry, a little bit of my brownie got in there. Sorry, guys. Um, take your pizza crust, and you can put whatever you enjoy inside. So a little sauce. You could do uh, meats, just cheeses, whatever you like. But because the pizza crust is flaky, when it goes in here, it's actually going to puff. It's a puff pastry. Yes. So it's going to puff up, and it's going to completely unwrap that. So if you know about those frozen food pizza treats yeah, that you can get. Absolutely. Okay, those, again, we're talking about not really being able to control the ingredients, not being able to know what's inside. 
Give your kids, your grandkids, yourself a treat that you can control, that you know what you're putting in there. And you can put better ingredients in there because I like to get Absolutely. higher quality cheeses or maybe the meats that you're using. This is gonna be done in just a moment. Let's go down and check out the process of how our potato waffle fries are coming. They look Perfect. great. They're coming along. I'm gonna let these go for probably like another minute just to get them nice and browned along the edges a little okay. bit more. But you see how easy that is. That's taking it from a mix to a finish. And this is this is the one I've been kind of waiting for. Which one do we have here? Okay, wait what is for it? it. Okay, let me see. This is so I gotta great. mention while you're getting this open, guys, we're down to less than 200 of these. Are you kidding? Is that cream <laughs> cheese? This is, yes, this is the one I always leave to go, uh, okay, what are we oh, doing? Oh my all gosh. All right, so all I have to do is get it released. Give me one second here. But yes, this is mac and cheese. You know, I think the reason these are flying right now is because it's that birthday <laughs> clearance price. $17.95. And did you guys see the flex pay? There we go. $4.49 to get this. You can't even get a waffle at I a know. restaurant for $4.49. Oh, Oh, mac and cheese. Okay, I feel like I have to try this one because this is so different. So please notice how it's nice and crispy on the outside. That's you what I'm wanting you to it. see, but you can hear it crunching. But when I get on the inside of this, it is so super cheesy. Oh my gosh. Take your macaroni and cheese and make it absolutely outstanding by placing it in your waffle maker. And then if I'm, I'm going go in for the big one. One cheesy to another cheesy. <laughs> this is your grilled cheese. So now take any type of sandwich that you would want to do like panini style. Sure. You can use your waffle maker for. So again, see how it's kind of lifted? As it cooks, it's going to pop down. It's going to press both sides, cook from both sides, and it's going to actually melt that cheese in the middle. And you have so many great ideas. We're watching the presentation and saying, wow, I wish I could have come up with that. I've got to say, this book, Will It Waffle? So yes, many. it will. This is where you're going to find ideas like these, and this is just a great piece to kind of complement the waffle maker. 53 recipes yeah. in this book. So this is a really nice way to just step outside the box. There's a steak in here. Did you know you could waffle a steak? <laughs> I didn't, but I if know. you have the book, you'll figure it out. And Salmon, steak, kale. Yes. I mean, like so many things that I said, no way. I mean, it really is your imagination that will go as far as you need to with this. How about chicken, chicken and, waffles. and waffles? So I always like to place this guy here just to make it nice and perfect. <laughs> but yeah, chicken and waffles is a huge deal right now. We spend a lot of money to go to a lot of restaurants. This is a truffle honey that we're using, And you even way. waffled the chicken as well. We even waffled the chicken, yes we did. So we waffled the sausage with the French toast. You can waffle <laughs> eggs, you can waffle. Will it waffle? Yes, yes it, it will. will apparently. And when you have this, you will be waffling too. <laughs> <laughs> and when you get it at a price like this, I've seen the other waffle makers that sometimes they can be upward of $100. I Absolutely. mean, it's crazy. They can be big and cumbersome, nowhere to put them. This is, it's easy, it's compact, it's non-stick. It's just a simple way to have some fun and get creative and make this face when you're cooking in the kitchen. Over okay. 200 of these are already gone. Okay, so my pizza went a little oh, crazy, but this is a great okay. example. This is a crazy in a good way, right? So here, I'm gonna actually go underneath. I'm gonna grab this. All right, I'm going in. Oh, I've had enough you watching. Guys, look at, look at. Okay, so there. Oh my so goodness. what's great about this is that this cheese will just wipe right up because this is a non-stick. So I love showing how easy. I'm just gonna go in there with a rag after I'm done and yeah. the cheese will come right up. Wipe it so up. So no you're matter done. have fun with this. Get crazy, get messy, it'll waffle clean it. up fast, waffle it all. <laughs> so you guys <laughs> go ahead and pick this up and I'm gonna go ahead and cut into this pizza because I need to see it. I gotta do my research for I this know. job. I mean it's a no tough problem. gig, but somebody's gotta do it. We'll and we're gonna continue with the baking goodies <laughs> with some pie. Eyes. That sounds amazing. And don't forget, by the way, you guys, will it waffle? Yes, it will, is available. It's nice when you buy the item to also have all of the ideas come with it. And if you were doing this as a gift, that'd be the perfect way to set somebody up and say, hey, yep. hint, hint, oh. I might be coming over for some uh, waffles or some pizza or some later. Pizza. Yeah. <laughs> and we can do that. So thank very you hot. very much. I'll oh. kind of cheers, cheers to you. <laughs> all right. We're going to munch on this a little bit. And then we've got a few messages. And when we come back, we'll be making some pie. Let's toast 40 days of birthday. Celebrate with four or more flex pay on everything all day long. Plus, get a birthday bonus. Sign up for email now and you'll get 15% off. Stay in the know with email only deals and be the first to hear about birthday surprises. And all of your favorites are back at their best prices ever with our birthday best sellers. Join us every day at noon. Search 40 days on hsn.com now. We are
our 40. And the fun has just begun. Happy 40th. Happy 40th, I just said. Mwah. Look who's the big four. Oh, yeah. And not a day over. over fabulous. So come party with us. This is our biggest party ever. We're celebrating 40 days of fun. With new surprises. Every day. Mega deals. Big brands. Then. And super sized names. And more reasons to shop HSN. Happy birthday. Cheers. To all the birthday fun yet to come. You're looking good for 40. It is our birthday here at HSN. Are we making birthday cake? No, we're making birthday pies. In fact, about half of my family will request a birthday pie instead of a birthday cake. So if you love pie and you want it to be personalized. Do you want a personal pie? We're gonna do cherry, we're gonna do apple, we're gonna do blueberry, we're gonna make pastries, we're gonna make savory pies, and so much more. It's our birthday price, the lowest price we've ever offered on our personal pie maker, and it comes with everything you need. All you do is pick your collar. We have the black, we have the red, we have that fabulous teal. You're getting the double pie maker, plus you're also getting the pie crust cutter, so it'll be the perfect pie crust every time. The instructions, a few recipes to get you started. Uh, teal will be the first to sell out. It's already a customer pick and you can see why because this is like the easiest, <laughs> fastest way to make pies Ever. You're going to have a pie in seven minutes flat. Is that true? Isn't that crazy? Carrie Mulatto is here, our gadget girl, and I love this gadget. I'm not going to lie. It is seven minutes, and you know that, don't forget, two minutes to warm it up. But if you were warming up your oven to make pies, this, in the time it takes for you to actually have a pie already made, your oven would just about be like, okay, I'm ready. <laughs> so the fact that you can do this so quickly is really exciting. And then the pies are really portion control, I like to say, because, you know, I, I, I mean, when the pie is delicious, it's hard to say no and stop. And so you keep eating pieces and you keep eating pieces. How about presenting a delicious cherry pie that is just to die for to your guests? And you know, we're right in the hot part of summer. And so imagine having this where you can just do, and my ice cream's completely sticking together. Perfect. Okay, there we go. Do a nice dollop of oh, your all perfect the mode, vanilla. Please. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, um, you know, it makes it makes entertaining so easy, I think. Let's cut into this one. I believe this is my apple, so let's show that. There's nothing more Ooh, American. No, than I believe that's my apple. Apple pie. You, you may <laughs> have is, the apple that pie. That one has my name on it. <laughs> Look at this. Aren't pie, I mean, to me, uh, pies are intimidating. Yes. You know, they're intimidating to work. make. You've got to do all these recipes. You might try making all those pastries from scratch. This is actually probably one of the easiest ways to make the flakiest, most delicious, and personal size pies ever. Why? Because you can actually go buy the pie filling, right? Yeah. You so, can already buy the pie crust ready to go. Totally. So, you know, in the recipe book that's coming with it, we do show mm. you how to make your own crust if you would like. But most of us, and I've done it, is just go to the grocery store and in the frozen food section, they actually mm. already have this dough that you can pick up. So it's the pie crust dough. And then, yeah, you can pick up canned, or if you have your own fruits, maybe you have a fruit tree, uh, maybe you have access to a farmer's market, whatever you want to use. A great idea. Absolutely. You can make your own fillings or you can just go the canned route. That's totally fine. So they have in the store the pie filling. And so here we're doing a peach and we are doing a blueberry. So I'm going to go ahead and put that inside. So then you just do your filling and make sure you get it nice and actually I'm going to do one more spoonful of this. You want to get it nice and high on the top. Let me give you some tips while we talk. Um, because what you're trying to do is you're trying to create that poof at the top. And the way that happens is by making sure you fill it just right. Do not be afraid to overfill. As I pointed out just a moment ago, because Holstein does a nonstick top and bottom, you can't mess up with this. This is easy baking. So once you put the tops on, and I'm gonna show you how to cut those in just a moment, you close it. You lock it and you can, I can hear it sizzling here. So it starts mm. cooking immediately. And within seven minutes, we're gonna come back to two perfectly made pies. Seven minutes. That's it. It would take me seven minutes just to like figure out what to buy at the grocery <laughs> store, right? Exactly. You know, and, and instead you could, you could do this the quick and easy way or you could make it totally from scratch. You're getting the pie cutters included. Right. And, and that's important so you have just the right size for the bottom and the yep. top, right? Yep, so the bigger side is for your bottom, and then you just flip it over, and then this will be your top portion, so it's just a little bit smaller. So we're just gonna pop it, but see how easy that is? So you can just buy your pie crust right in the store, mm -hmm. do that, 
put them gosh. right in the middle. It's so, so easy. Easy. And you know what? You don't even have to turn on the oven. Yeah. Right? You yeah. don't have to worry what temperature, what shelf do I put it on, what pan do I put it on. And they turn out perfect every single time. Every and, single time. And it's all fluted around the edge. I mean, those look those look like professional <laughs> pies that you might buy at a at a bakery. Look at that. Hands off my pies. Yeah. You Here got to try my brownies, so I just gotta come in for a second. Okay, I do what we make good one. yummy food here. Oh my gosh, okay, so this is our chicken pot pie on this side, and let's see, I think these might both be chicken. Mm. I kinda got a little crazy with my cutting there, I sorry. I love but chicken pot wow. pie. No food ever goes to waste. So this takes care right. of all of those dinners when you had a little leftover chicken or a little mm. leftover beef. Go ahead and make yourself some savory pies. These are awesome, by the way, to make in advance and freeze. So then if you're looking at mm -hmm. those days where you just got caught up at work. Now and you're, you're speaking my language. There you that. go. Yeah. You Look can just this. pull these right out of the freezer and just heat them up. So here we've actually done our beef pot pie. So just your favorite vegetables mixed with your favorite beef. Maybe you had a little leftover steak from the night before, no problem. Oh my God, this is and so delicious. And who would have thought pie on demand? That's one of those things you think pie is gonna be a hassle, you know, I gotta get all this stuff out and rolling bins and heat the oven and wait. Right? Pie on demand, and the waffle maker, by the way, Sold out. Gone. Okay, all gone. Okay. I knew it. People will be waffling like crazy in the next few days. So congrats on that if you got your hands on that one. Yeah. I'd say the pie maker's probably next though, right? Yeah, yeah. And you know what? Everyone mm. loves it. So my friend just bought, she bought Delicious. three of these because she loves to make pies for all her friends. And she has That's a lot of fair. activities that she does over the weekend. So she just pops out pies like crazy because you figure if you're doing them every seven minutes, you can really make a huge mm -hmm. gathering super easy. You so can do here, a pie station and have different mm -hmm. fillings Right, That's a great and then idea. you get out of doing mm -hmm. all the work, and people can do their Instead little things. Instead of like personal closet. pizzas, make your own mm -hmm. pie. Because in seven minutes, so if you have people over, you oh, crack good. open some wine, you, or whatever your favorite drink <laughs> is, and everyone makes their pies, and you're eating within ten yes. minutes or less. You Love know. It. Love so it. let's talk breakfast, okay? So, so since it is breakfast, maybe you're waking up and you're starting your day. Um, in the frozen food section and or your drive-through, we always find all kinds of different sandwiches that we can buy for breakfast, right? So the burrito types, the or we biscuits. do like the little pie. The things muffin things and all that's right exactly now you can make your own favorite breakfast by using your pie maker so check out this sandwich I can load it up with my goodies, my favorites, whatever it is. So if I want to do eggs, sausage, bacon, if I want to put in some greens in there, sometimes I've done them with kale. And you um, just made it in a pie shell? That's right. How about that? So there you go. Look how poofy and delicious that is. And again, Yum. it's about controlling what we're eating, knowing what we're putting in our food. Mm -hmm. That's the power now nowadays. You know, when you don't know what you're buying Very and you true. don't know what you're eating, maybe it's loaded with sodium and you can't have sodium. Maybe, you know, you have to, to watch, try the breakfast you know, Oh, thank you. Go ahead. You have to watch what your intake is on certain things. So we can absolutely make one for someone that has some dietary restrictions and make another mm -hmm. one for someone who, who can eat whatever they want. So here I'm just going to do some cheese. I'm going to do some little chives here. That's delicious, by the way. Bacon. It's really fluffy. Isn't and it? All the flavors are locked in. And there, there's is there anything better than like a flaky crust? You know, that pie crust has that nice little crispy edge and then it just melts in your mouth. It's so buttery. It's so delicious. I mean, I, I would eat pot pies every night for dinner. <laughs> I got away with it. Think about it, making your own personal pies. This would be so much fun for kids. My niece loves Go. to bake, loves to cook. And that you could sort of decide, yay, who wants cherry, who wants apple. Exactly. Get a couple cans of pie filling. Because I'll tell you what's really dangerous is having an entire pie to myself sitting on the counter, you know, for a few days. Because what am I going to do? I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna keep going back to the pie. A personal pie size is just the perfect serving. Yeah. So you can just make one per person or you can set them aside. You can save them for later. I love the idea of freezing food because uh, there's always those days and those moments where you, you forgot to take something out of the oh freezer God. or you forgot to cook or you don't have time or you want to. Yeah. You could put this in a lunch and someone could heat it up at, totally. at, at work or at school. Like you could. Pop you it could, in a microwave. You, you could yep. microwave it, right? Absolutely. So once these are cooked and done, just That's heat like them up. That's like a little quiche. So this is a right? spanakopita. This is actually oh. a Greek dish. So we got oh, we got fancy. really cultural. So if you have some favorites, you can really put anything in your pies. There's nobody stopping you. So you okay. know we've you know if you want to no do a rules. seafood pie, if you want to do a Greek <laughs> pie, if you want to do, it's really up to you. And now we're going to actually do a pizza pie. 
a pizza pie, um, our own way. Uh, so now we want to take, I'm going to make sure I load mine up with These my favorite. very, very popular, by the way. Uh, if you can, place your order online or go to hsn.com. The color that she's working with right now, the teal, that is our most limited. Uh, okay. If you, if you care about the color. Otherwise, we have the black. We also have that uh, rock and red. I love that, you know, if you've ever been to those little specialty bakeries or those little, you know, sort of couture sections of those gourmet grocery stores. Right. Uh, if you buy any of those individual pastries, individual pies, they're very expensive. I mean, you'll, you'll spend like four or five dollars at a, you know, a a high-end dessert shop on sure. those little individual pies. So I love the idea that you could do this ahead of time. They're great for parties when you want to serve a bunch of people. Yep. And you don't want all these messy pie tins and people trying to trying to cut pie and serve <laughs> pie. I don't think there's anything pretty about that. <laughs> I don't know yeah. if there's a glamorous way to, to serve a, a cherry pie or an apple pie. If you are, you know, harvesting everything out of the garden right now and you're thinking, what do I do with all the rhubarb? What do I do with all these cherries I just got at the farmer's market? Mm -hmm. Or you're sharing them, you know, with, with friends and family. Someone's got an apple tree. Uh, it could be anything. Anything. You know, and make that's... Make pies. That, make pies. My mom came over, so to give you an idea of how cool this is, my mom came over, we wanted to watch a movie. Mm. And we didn't have anything for dessert, and I realized that I had some pie filling, and I always keep some of this mm. crust in the freezer. And I just said, Mom... Oh my gosh, we can make pies. Do you want to? And she got all excited. Yes, let's do that. And so while the movie so was getting fun. ready to show, that amount of time is all it took I to make this from scratch. So I'm going to come back Look now to the first pies we started. As you remember, if you were here when we started, I said, let's do one blueberry, one peach. They're done. Okay. So this I want to show you because you go, Carrie, I'm not a great baker. What if I mess up? You can't mess up with this. And here's why. So this pie is going to come straight out. Okay. Now mm -hmm. I Do am going to use this plate right here. And what I want to show you is you see how it came right out. You said, Oh, it went over, mm -hmm. but it came right out. Number one, number two, I'm just going to go over to my pie and you see how the edges just come right off. So it makes the pie absolutely perfect every single time. I actually eat those little I, edges, by the way. That I is eat just, those. <laughs> you made, she started this pie five minutes ago. Yeah. The pie is done seven minutes later. Yep. Uh, pie filling, pre-made pie shells, you are good to go. We give you everything you need. You've got the instructions, a few fun recipes to get started. But basically, any pie recipe just transfers to a smaller size, right? That's right. You, exactly. don't, need to, you don't need to change the recipe. Nope. If you, you have one that you've been using grandma's recipe grandma's for years and years. cherry pie, which... I mean, I mean, this is the time for cherries. If you're in, if you're that's in Michigan, so that's where my family goes in the summer, and it is, or maybe it's strawberries in you June. Guys. Maybe it's rhubarb in August. Maybe it's these savory breakfast pies that are wetting your appetite right now. Maybe it's uh, chicken pot pies for the kids. I mean, if mom, you're busy, you know, and and. You've got to figure out how to make those quick and easy meals. Mm -hmm. I love the idea that you could take any leftover, you know, any stew, any soup, any, you know, cut up some chicken, cut up some veggies. What do you... What, and any type of pie. You put like a little cream oh, of mushroom and so soup here. and then you go, you're good to go? You're good to go. And then you know what else you could do? Because we're coming into that time of year faster than I'd like to say. Um, summer's almost over. We're going to go into the fall when we're going to be looking for um, lots of different ways to entertain. You could do pumpkin, pe pies. Pe pumpkin pies and pecan pies. Leave the tops off. So when you cook these, you'll actually just put the bottoms, you'll fill it with your pecan or your pumpkin filling, and you're not going to put the tops on. Okay. What will happen is it will actually come out like perfect little baby pies. We spend wow. good money to go to bakeries and get that. You don't have to do that anymore. You can do that in your pie maker. Let's go back to, okay, okay I now have, again. I have, I have two forks, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <I've got. laughs> so now and I have two hands and there are plenty of pies in front of me. Imagine how much fun this will be. I yes. love cooking with my nieces and nephews. I love family gatherings. I love those big reunions. Everyone make their own. Because you cannot get the family to agree on one pie right. flavor. I mean, if you start now taking they don't about have to. who wants cherry, who wants apple, who wants, you know, the blueberry, who wants savory, who wants sweet. Now hey. everyone can have whatever they want. And here I want to show you just very quickly. I wiped it down. I'm ready to go again. That's how easy these are to clean. I don't care how cool an appliance is. If you can't clean it easy, it's going to end up in that back cabinet somewhere and you're never going to use it again. This mm -hmm. you'll use all the time. And it's such a small footprint. You're not heating up the entire oven. It's 
fantastic. Uh, there's a lot to eat here, so the crew's going to be very happy. <laughs> Carrie, thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, more than 600 of you have placed your orders. It is going very, very fast. That's the lowest price ever. Happy birthday, HSN. And why don't you celebrate? Make cake pops. Okay, another huge hot trend. People are personalizing their baked goods now. Give these pies as gifts. Give these cake pops as gifts. Decorate the way you wish. Birthday price is $39.95 for Flex Pays to get that home. And uh, the party continues. We have our number one best selling knife set coming up. Michelle's back. We're going to eat some pies. A messy snack attack is no match for the Fuller Brush Electrostatic Cordless Sweeper. It's super quiet, needs no power, and can pick up all types of spills. It's lightweight and easy to empty. Pick your favorite color or match your decor. Just grab and go get clean. Search Quick Buy on hsn.com for more. Clean is a swipe away with the Fuller Cordless Sweeper. Labellum. For HSN, it's boho, modern, flattering, and comfortable. I've always had an interest in fashion, and being able to incorporate the inspiration from my music and what's comfortable for me to wear on stage and always looking good, but enjoying what I'm wearing. That was important to me. The LaBellum woman is truly every woman. to the HSN kitchen where I have been hanging out all hour. I'm Michelle Yarn. And when we talk about cooking, you could be a sous chef or a novice like me. And I think everyone will agree that the prep work tends to be the most tedious, time consuming, sometimes stressful part of it. If you don't have the right tools, it's gonna be harder and it's gonna take longer. And I'm learning more and more as I cook for my two boys at home and sometimes a husband if he's nice to me. But if you have the right tools, it just makes life so much easier. So today, we are bringing back the Cuisinart 10 piece set of ceramic coated stainless steel knives. Five of them for $24.95. That's a special birthday price. I'm no math whiz, but that's about $5 per knife for Cuisinart. And you know the brand, they're known for quality. And not only are they pretty being color coded, they work amazingly. Customer pick, you guys, more than 150 perfect five star reviews. We've sold, what, more than 50,000 of these since it launched back in, around Thanksgiving time. So let's take a look at what you're getting here with this 10 piece set. You've got two eight inch knives. You've got the chef's knives and the slicer. You've got the seven inch Santoku and Mark coming up here is to show you what you use that one for. You get a utility knife as well, which is six and a half inches, the three and a half inch paring knife, and then you get each of the coordinating sheets, the blade guards to go on top of that. Not only that, it comes with a manufacturer's lifetime limited warranty. Lifetime. Where can you get a knife for about $5 that's going to last you a lifetime with a warranty happen. like that? It this is Mark Gill. He's going to slice and dice for us. These knives are just amazing. I'll tell you what, these have taken HSN by storm. Yeah. 187 customer reviews, 173 four and five stars. So let's start with this guy right here. This is your eight inch chef's knife. This is your workhorse. And you can see as I slide this off, the sheath is going to come with it to protect the knife. And I got to tell you, this is one of those knives that is actually going to be that one that you go to so many times to get that job done. This is the choice of professionals and amateurs everywhere. Let me walk you through what makes this knife so special. Sure. I gotta be honest with you, when I have a $25 set of knives come across my desk, whoop, done. Right yeah. until I see the name Cuisinart, and then I'm gonna have a closer look. So here we go. First things first, stainless steel is the, uh, the choice of professionals all over the world because of the control that it gives you. Sure. And when I start going through these knives, feature for feature, knowing what I know about knives, I'm just blown away. So first things first, this is ceramic over stainless steel. The ceramic is gonna give you that protection. It's not gonna pit, rust, chip, anything like that. The stainless steel is gonna give you the control. You have a French tip 
on the edge of this knife. That is so cool to me. That's such an expensive feature. This is designed to be the exact angle that your wrist bone hits your hand. It's like an extension of your exactly. arm there while you're cutting. Exactly. That's what gives you the control that you're looking for. The two most important tools in any kitchen are clean hands and a sharp knife. So let me go ahead and put this to the side like that. Here's one of the other things that this is going to do for you. Your knives are never going to start looking old and tired because of the ceramic. Ceramic doesn't stain, doesn't rust, doesn't collect bacteria, doesn't collect odor, easy to clean no matter what you put it through. And I love that you noticed this when we talked. Here's one of the yeah. first things I look at for a quality knife. Is it sharpened on both sides? Have you ever grabbed a knife and gone to cut through something and it shoots off in one direction or so another? So dangerous. They've taken the time to save themselves some money at the factory by only sharpening one side. So watch this. You want to talk perfect control? This is perfect control. Even a grape. You want to talk about uh, slicing thinly. You want to talk about slicing perfectly. This is the kind of control that you get from knives that can cost two, three, four, five times as much for just the chef's knife as you're going to pay today for the set. This knife set is out of this world. And I love the color coding as well. Like I said, yes, it looks pretty, but that's going to mm -hmm. help you with cross-contamination as well. If you can keep in your mind, I use the green for this, the blue for that right. one, you're saving yourself some guesswork though, because I've done it. that before. Now, listen, these are the work uh, workhorse knives. I've seen sets like this, and when you see the price on the screen, it's like your choice of, uh-uh, you're getting all them all. Them. So this is your 7-inch Santoku. This is part way between your chef's knife and a cleaver. When you have a nice thick, stout uh, uh, Santoku knife, you don't have to worry, there we go, about having to have a cleaver for those extra big jaws because this is going to give you that strength, that push that you need. Let me go ahead and put these over here. And just like, uh, just like our chef's knife, this is sharpened on both sides. Let me show you why that matters again right here. When it comes to a oh, tomato, the tomato the that's the test, test, right? <laughs> I'm usually smushing it around because my knife is not sharp enough. But watch this. You want to talk about being able to shave Come thin on. slices. Can you see that? Guys, I'm going to move this up here. You can read through the tomato <laughs> slice. This is a kind of knife set that I've seen in stores that go up into the 50, 60, 70, 80, yeah. 90, or 100 dollars. You're talking about going through the skin of a pepper like it's not even there, you guys. Wow. This is what we're talking about. When it comes time for the heavier jobs and you've got to go through bone or frozen stuff, you're going to reach for that Santoku knife. Like I said, these are the workhorse knives. We've picked these out piece by piece to make sure that you're getting the exact right set that you need. And have a look here. This even has, I call it the herb curve, right the there. Curve. This is designed so that you can rock a knife back and forth. Like I said, when I started going through this knife feature by feature by feature by feature, I was blown away by what this knife can do compared to the price of knife sets out there. I mean, this is out of this world. And I gotta say too, did you guys notice as he's cutting, it's not sticking and building up on right. the knife. I mean, I've cut, you did the zucchini earlier. <laughs> I've tried to do that and it just sticks and it piles up higher and exactly. higher, it falls over all over the place. So that's just a great feature as well for ease of use. Well, exactly. So the thing about ceramic is, now listen, uh, we've all seen ceramic knives before and you can pay a lot of money for them. The only problem with them, Michelle, is that they can chip. Now we've all seen stainless steel knives and you can pay a lot of money for those. They can rust. The only problem is they can rust. Yeah. Exactly. So what we've got now is we've got a set of knives with a limited lifetime warranty for the name like Cuisinart that has that uh, stainless steel construction. That's the, 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 the choice of chefs all over the world. But then what we're talking about is we're talking about that ceramic. Now ceramic is what they use to uh, you know put the tiles on the outside of the space shuttle. So I got to tell you, <laughs> if, that, if it's good enough to get the space I shuttle back home, food. it's good enough for your tomato. Right? Well, <laughs> so. and we can talk till we're blue in the face about how amazing these knives are, but we're not the only ones who think that. You think that too, because huge customer pick, and it's exclusive to HSN. Exactly. You're not going to find this set anywhere else. This is where you can get it. You know, we sold more than 50,000 of these since we first launched these <laughs> around Thanksgiving <laughs> weekend. Is that amazing for a it knife is. Really set? really is, really is. So now have a look here. I'm going to show you our eight-inch slicing knife. Like I said, you get them all. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we're talking about Cuisinart. Since the early 70s, Cuisinart has done nothing but bring us quality items to our home, every part of the house, especially the kitchen. And I'm just showing you this again because I want you to understand these knives are sharpened, like I said, on both sides. That's what gives you this incredible, Incredible control that you don't get from knives that are just kind of, you know, 
at this price point shoved out there. You yeah. know what I mean? So this is going to be for all of your carving, your slicing. And I want you to watch this like it's not even it's there. Like butter. Right? Like butter. I've always said the two most important tools in any kitchen, clean hands and a good knife. When you're fighting with a knife in the kitchen, when you're fighting to get it to go through fat or bone or meat or grizzle or anything that might be tough, that's when you have to give it that little more of a push, that little extra pressure that you might not want to give it. That's when things get dangerous. This is the weight of my hand just with the knife as the extension yeah. falling through. Now, I know you and I talked about this next demo okay. uh, as you're about to see. And this is the one where <laughs> this is rubber meets the road time. This yeah. is separating the men from the boys. I this mean, is a <laughs> you will probably cringe, but I have had times where I've got the fork in the top yep. of the salmon. I've got the knife that doesn't work. I'm trying to pull it apart. Yep. Not good. So watch this, okay? First things first, the knife goes through it like it's oh not even gosh. there. We've all seen that with salmon before, but here's maybe what you haven't seen. There's skin on that, you guys. Have you ever seen a knife that you have to sit there and saw and saw and saw? But here's where it gets cool. I've seen people spend hundreds of dollars on a knife that will do what you're about to see. All you do is you get it started, and without even needing the flex of a $200 fisherman sportsman's knife, look at this, yeah, right. right through the end, and you can actually do the filet. Isn't that incredible, you guys? I'm gonna show you that one more time, okay? Because this is the part that, that, that really blew me away. Normally, if you're gonna do this, you need something with a huge flex so you can get under the skin because of the eight inch length and because of the blade and the way it's sharpened, I can work that salmon skin off the flesh in just a heartbeat, guys. If that doesn't tell you the kind of quality that's built into a knife, I have no idea. Yeah. And here's the other cool thing, just before we move on, I'm gonna show you here. It's one thing to fillet. We can all fillet. Everybody's seen a fillet, right? Yeah. But what about when it comes time to fillet the fillet? <laughs> That's when you get that complete control that you can only find in a set of knives that I'm telling you right now, you're gonna find for two, three, four, five times the price of what you're seeing. And here. Mark, you know, you're a big guy, you got the muscles and everything. It could be a little intimidating <laughs> getting up here with the knives with the little girl. Welcome but to the alley, which you're, right? you're not using a lot of force or a lot of muscle. And most right. of us. You know, we're not these professional chefs. We just want something that's gonna make it easier for us. And if it's a name like Cuisinart that you know has the quality behind it, right. you know you're getting a good buy. And for $24.95, for five knives, again, $5 per knife, and then on FlexPay, forget right. about it, for FlexPay of <laughs> $6.24 to get it home. Again, you can trust us, you can trust other shoppers like you who have said, this is the best knife set I've tried. Never seen anything like it. Guys, in a heartbeat, yeah. almost 200 reviews, almost all of them in four and five stars. I'm, I've been doing this for 20 years. I've never seen a knife set like this take off with the following it's already got. And here's one of the reasons why. You ever gone into one of the fancy dancy uh, like kitchen stores and looked for a specialty knife? Specialty knives are small run knives. They're not a huge production on them. That's what makes them expensive. What makes them fantastic is they will take certain jobs in the kitchen and make them so much easier. So guys, first things first. This is an absolute specialty knife. This is the ones that you'll go for a hunt for. Now, I keep saying to you, sharpened on both sides. Well, look at this. This one is only sharpened on one side. But there's a reason. There's a very good reason for that, okay? Now, I'm gonna show you that in just a second here. Now, you've got that wide design. You know, this is funny. When I worked out this demo, when I was talking about it, writing in, and we kind of submit everything here, they were like, sure. you wanna spend that kind of time to do a sandwich in a knife set? Why is that? Well, I gotta tell you something. If you are like me, and you've gone through the whole week, and you've been eating well, and you're eating your carrots, <laughs> and you're eating your salad, and then everybody's going out on Saturday, and you get that sandwich, the last thing you wanna do is grab your knife, that just tears it apart. So it watch does. what I'm gonna do here. That's a clean board, all right? You ready for this? We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cut that. And here's why I love this knife. You wanna talk about a clean cut? That's a clean Come cut. On. I can barely shake crumbs off of this, you guys. Usually when you cut a sandwich, this is nothing but a mound of bread and crumbs. This is what I love about having specialty knives in my kitchen, is you can do fun things like this yeah. and add to your presentation, add to your cooking experience, add to the, you know, how well you're getting through dishes. Yeah. But the cool part is, we're not charging you a premium for this, it's included. And by the way, talk about a fantastic cheese knife. Because wow. of that ceramic, 
it doesn't stick. You can see this. I'm not even flipping it off with my finger. 17,000 <laughs> of these are gone already because people are jumping in and saying, look, you know, we're also going to come to that time where we're doing more cooking. Mm -hmm. School's going to get back in session. Holidays will be here before you know it. So this is the time you maybe need to restock or just, you know, upgrade a little bit, but upgrade for $24.95. I mean, <laughs> I can't really beat that. It's kind of, I had to double Mind check. I'm like, I know I'm new here, but there's, am I mistaking <laughs> the price? Right? I don't know. Okay, yeah. we got to get to this little and one. Now, this is our last one, okay? Yeah. And again, if you go and you find a, you know, a decent paring knife at a specialty store, the paring knife will cost you more than the whole set's going to cost you. Remember, every knife has a sheath, so it doesn't need a knife block. It can live in the drawer, mm -hmm. it can live on the counter, they can knock around, nothing's ever going to happen. And I'm going to show you this again. I know we keep going to these. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. This is the kind of job that you're going to grab one of these for. Watch this. Again, the control, the precision. On garlic is unbelievable. So when it comes time to shave garlic so you can drop it in that hot oil so it liquefies and you can make grandma's awesome spaghetti sauce better than she would yeah. ever dream of making it, this is one of the reasons why. And by the way, paring knives are a, a specific length, and here's why. They're meant to be, you talk about an extension of your hand, no other knife out there is meant to do that better than a paring knife, here's why. A paring knife is designed to be the approximate length from your wrist to mm -hmm. the end of your finger. Yep. That's what gives you that control. So guys, watch this. Whether it's your paring knife, whether it's your specialty bread knife that doesn't stick or wreck your sandwich all over the place, or maybe it's that slicing knife that goes through the, the, the meat, you can flay the salmon, you can do any of that kind of stuff. You've got your Santoku knife, any good Santoku knife worth its weight. And I'll tell you, that chef's knife, here we go. Let's I mean, it's like a magic started. show here. <laughs> that you need is in one set that only Cuisinart can do. It's exclusive here, so if you want it, this is the place to get it. Mark, you're amazing. Thank you for all of these demos. <laughs> I mean, you've basically prepped dinner for me, so I might just have to take <laughs> this home. We're all done. We're but all you're done. back at later today, right? Uh, yes, we are, 10 o'clock. All right, so guys, make sure you also head to our website, hsn.com. You can find some more great deals on all things kitchen, anything you need. And we also have a special pre-sale going on for tomorrow's today's special, which is an HP 17-inch touch quad-core laptop. This is great pricing. This is a good way for you to see it first. Go ahead and dive in on that one if you want to get a jump on that. Thank you so much for joining me in the kitchen and having a little fun here. We're going to go over to Sarah in just a bit with Samantha Brown. So I'll see you next time.